So this one is going to be a very short tutorial. I just want to show you how you can quickly improve the 3D people inside your render. Now with this Generative Fill tool. So I have here three different renders to show you. I have uh, two interiors and one exterior. So I can start with this interior. And by the way, this was done in the new Lumion uh, 2023. And it's a raw render, doesn't have any post-production. And so I have here this person. And as you can see, the clothing and everything else is fine. The only issue with it is that the faces is what really tells us that this is a, a 3D and not a real person. And so what we can do, I'm just going to select this person here. This is a color ID mask that you can render both in Lumion, D5 render, any render has this option. And it allows you to quickly select just one material. With that, I'm just going to deselect these areas. And now I'm going here on Photoshop to select, modify, expand. And I'm going to expand it by, as you see here, by 10 pixels. We just want to leave a little bit around the area that we're going to, to generate. I'm just going here on the bottom. You see I have this generative fill. We can move it anywhere we want. I'm going to pin it here. And now I'm going to say woman smiling. And so it will generate three options that we can select. And before in the early versions, it was quite bad generating faces, but now it becomes really good. Of course, some of them are not so great, but you see that we have three options that we can select from. And so I would say that even this one, maybe just ahead, it's a little bit big. So we can just generate again if we don't like the options that it gave us. For example, this one looks quite good. We have other option. So yeah, I'll stick with this one. And if you see the before and after, even the hair, the hair basically is just like a single mesh, right? It doesn't have actually this shader, the fur on the hair, in this specific model. So this one actually looks quite good and in overall, it makes the whole scene looks much more realistic, right? When you had this type of people here. So the next one I have here, this is from D5 render. It's also a raw render. I didn't do any post-production here. So just want to show you quickly. Again, I'm just going to select with a mask ID. And then I'm just going to deselect the areas that I don't need. And again, the same thing. Let's go to select. Modify, expand by 10 pixels. And now we can say, well, actually, I never tried with both selected. So I'm going to say people smiling. OK, yeah, it did. Well, it changed the ethnicity, but <laughs> yeah, I think uh, overall this one or this one, it's good. Uh, you can um, say people just people without, without smiling. Let's see the difference. All right. I would say that these heads are a little bit smaller, but again, you see that you can quickly redefine this. Let me just put the one that I think it's best. Maybe this one we can try instead of uh, selecting both, we can try just to select one first. And for this one, we can say man, man's face. And let's see. Okay, I actually like this one. Let's now select the woman and let's see. So woman's face, let's see the same thing. And as you can see the, the clothing and overall the skin, I don't think it's a big issue with these uh, uh, characters. It's already quite, quite good enough. The problem is really the face. So this really helps to have a better, uh, to have a better render overall. So this one probably to generate one more time, because again, I think the head, it's a little bit bigger than expected. Okay. So let's see before and after. So again, before and after. And lastly, I have here a scene from D5 render. This is a free template from D5 render itself. And we see these people here and I'm not going to use the mask now. I'm just going to quickly do a selection like this. You can also do that, you know, like this. And I'm just going to make uh, one by one and say woman smiling. Everyone should be smiling. So <laughs> okay, <laughs> this one is good, but I don't know what, what is this. So we can just generate a new one. 
okay, I can work with this one. There's some something here that we can probably just quickly make a generated fill and it will probably replace that really quickly. Yeah, much better. And now we can go here to the man's face and do exactly the same thing. We can say man smiling. <laughs> all right. Well, this is actually not bad at all. We can work maybe even with this one. I think it's adding sunglasses because it's uh, understanding that it's a sunny day. And as you can see, it's adding the correct lighting. See, it's from the right side, the sun, and the left side is in shadow. So this is actually quite nice. And so let's see how now it works with children here. So we can say child smiling, of course. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think this first one, it's really good. And lastly, this one looks really, really fake. So let's see child face. One. I'll generate a new one because I think this had some issues here on the side. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one with a hat. And so you can see that very quickly we replace those faces. I'm going just to group this. And now if you see before and after, so you can see that even close, it's a big improvement because all of the 3D faces, we can tell they are 3D, right? That's why usually I always use them not facing the camera, but this way you can use them and quickly just replace this with generative fill. As you can see, very quick and you get really decent results in no time. And one note here about this generative fill, when it was in beta, uh, you could get unlimited generations and it was all free, but now it will be paid by credits. So you will be granted credits from each subscription that you have. So as you can see here, if you have all the Creative Cloud apps, you have uh, 1000 monthly credits, which are not uh, renovated, I think. So if you don't spend the 1000 credits, they will not go to the next month. And um, if you have other types of subscriptions, you'll have 500 or 100. It will depend on the type of su subscription you have to which product. So just have a look. And I do have the Creative Cloud all apps and 1000 credits so far. For me, it's been more than enough. And again, this was just a quick video. If you like it and you want to have more tutorials like this one, don't forget to give me a like and I'll see you in the next one.